everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working more on the kitchen area. If you take a peek over here, you can see that the uh, base area, but for below the sink, is all done. It's nice and strong. I've got some uh, boards right on the front of it. I'm going to be fabricating up a door here. I, I might use the doors from this thing that I kind of mistakenly gotten. Maybe I'll make my own doors. I'm not sure about that yet. But at the moment, countertops could go on top of this and uh, everywhere, really. And uh, it would uh, be supported everywhere that it needs to be supported. What I'm working on right now is uh, kind of a backsplash kind of uh, barrier here. This is where the, uh, the oven and range is going to be. Uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, it'll slide right into this area. And, uh, and this right here is going to be kind of a wall for the back that'll have a board on the top of it. You can put things on the board. Uh, there will also be electrical outlets here uh, so you can access uh, power from this surface and uh, it'll also make it easier to just run wires over to the stove. Uh, I've put this thing together with um, uh, some pressure treated wood on the bottom and uh, I've screwed all of these uh, vertical posts into it. I use screws instead of nails because uh, it's going to get flopped around a lot, and you'll see a little bit of that now, but uh, the screws just hold it together uh, more rigidly than the nails do. I probably could have gotten away with nails, but I thought it would just be easier to use screws. Even though they're a little more expensive, they're going to hold it better while I'm working on it. Uh, this thing here slides right underneath that little cover there. There had been some questions about this one here. It seems like it's kind of backwards. Well, the idea is that this just gives you some extra, you know, you got a drawer, you got a, a cupboard down there. Uh, and in uh, this surface here, I don't know what to do with it at the moment. It's going to just get boarded up and the boards will be flush with the front here. Uh, but, uh, you know, at the moment I don't have any specific plans for it. It's just, it's kind of a divider between the kitchen and the, uh, the dining area. Uh, what I want to do is get some boards on the back here. There's going to be three quarter inch boards on the back all across the top here and going down. Now, uh, I don't want to uh, attach them to this thing until I know that all these guys are nice and straight. So I'm getting this in place first, and that's what I kind of want to highlight in the video today. It's just getting this stuff all lined up. Looks good. This thing here, where it needs to be. All right, and uh, I'm gonna be taking this board here and use it as a cross brace. What I'm gonna do is put cross braces on this thing, uh, get it all nice and rigid, and then slide it back out, put it down over there. Hopefully before the refrigerator shows up, they uh, kind of stood us up the other day. Uh, they are supposed to be delivering anytime between the next 10 minutes and the next three hours. They're supposed to be uh, showing up, but that's some great floor uh, real estate over there. So if I can get this thing over there, I might be able to get it all hammered together before they show up. So uh, what I'm gonna be doing is just bracing it. Now, I'm gonna throw a, uh, a screw in down here. Okay, one. And now this one here has a definite place where it needs to be. So I'm gonna get that lined up. Okay. Alright, so at this point, this is now held in place. I'm going to put a level on each of these and get these all nice and straight exactly where I want them so they line up with what I need them to line up with. Uh, and then after that, what I'll be doing is taking, uh, now that this one is locked in place, I'm going to take a horizontal board and go across. Because, you know, even if I screw this one in down here, there's still going to be a lot of play in there. And this one hasn't been connected at all. So I'll put a horizontal board across the top. That'll grab this, make sure that locks in place. And then I'll be able to take this whole thing Place it over there, put the sheathing on the tops here and here, all down the face behind where the stove is going to be, and then I can slide it all back in place, screw it in, and we're on our way to having a uh, what's going to feel like a kitchen that's complete, minus a countertop and sink. That's it. Thanks for watching.